An historic building has a new use in the Syrup City. First and Broad Pizza recently opened its doors and their building was formerly a train depot and the Cairo Police Headquarters. WALB News 10's Anthony Bordenero has how the family-owned business is bringing new life to downtown Cairo. This actually brought a breath of fresh air back to downtown. Fun. Karen and Jamie Holder are the owners of First and Broad Pizza Company. It's in the heart of downtown Cairo. They previously owned Home Slice, a much smaller pizza shop that wasn't downtown. The building has history. It was Cairo's old train depot and it used to be Cairo's police department headquarters. We have been super blessed with um, a lot of our customers following us over here and then we've gotten a lot of new customers. First and Broad is open seven days a week and that's unique for a small town like Cairo. There's not a lot open on Sunday in Cairo. When it's Sunday and you're like, oh, I don't want to cook anything. Let's go to let's go to First and Broad. Punky's is the other popular bar and restaurant in town that's open during the weekend. First and Broad gives residents one more local option to go after church or to watch Saturday football games. You know, pool tables and then you have this pizza place that's like pizza and beer and just family oriented. I just I like it. Holder created more than 20 jobs with the restaurant. Other new businesses downtown have also provided a spark for more growth in downtown Cairo. Today, there are restaurants looking to move downtown. That was the goal was for us to come and then for others to follow. The business pays tribute to the motocross culture in Cairo. Cairo is the motocross capital of the world. The support and money that they put back into our community is, I mean, it's, it's unimaginable the amount of support that they have given us. With here, I wanted to do this building justice with the history behind it. And it still is able to like make us, somebody who's lived here her whole life, like make me feel at home too. So. The building also has tributes to local stars like Jackie Robinson and WNBA's Teresa Edwards. Anthony Bornaro, WALB, your hometown news source.